last time on Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. <coughs> Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? I carefully stretched my hand out towards whatever it, it was that just it had tumbled down here with me. Just a second. A giant piece of trash. Rude. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. It smells awful. Kyoko! And now, back to trying to ditch school. If you just do it, it will turn out okay. Hey everyone, it's Vendillion1998 here again, and I'm back for more Dagnarope Trigger Trap Trigger Happy Havoc. I almost said Trigger Trappy Traffic again. I did say that anyways. Uh, talking. It's a thing. Oh. Probably should be uh, editing the uh, uploads I have here, but I want to get to this game some more, and uh, spent the last few hours watching Nico B's live stream on the Genie game, but anyways, enough of, enough of that, let's get the thing. Last time, we, we, we woke up to find ourselves in a trash pit, we were rescued, but not really say rescued yet. But Kiri Gary came in that came in after us to rescue us. She told us that she was a detective. The ultimate detective. How will we get out of this pit? I think you know, but let's find out. As the story continues. The ultimate despair. A group of people who caused the tragedy one year ago. Those same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. But right now... Anyway... Right now, we have to get out of this... Horribly smelly place. Figuring out the rest of the story can come after. Yeah, you're right. Kyoko, do you still have that one thing? Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room. Indeed. Of course I do. Do you think I would fall into this? Smelly place without it? Uh, uh, oh crap, I think I, I, think I dropped it somewhere. Go, Mikado, go. Fo go look in that pile of garbage over there. It's an absolutely vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. You open any door in the school, right? That's right. You're gonna be able to use it on that door, right? Hey, Kyoko! Can you use this, that key of yours to open this door, right? It's true. <coughs> Got water coughing. Oh boy. Let's find out. Kyoko took out the key with the mark of the design on it and slid it into the keyhole. And then... Yes, it opened. Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. 
as we opened the door, I made our escape from the garbage pit. Finally, we are finally free. There wasn't even a time to take a, a breath of relief. Because the real fight had just begun. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death. Deadly life. After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up like a chimney. There was a huge, there was a metal ladder leading up to, to the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. God, that'll be tough for me. I, I hate heights, but. The ladder was impossibly long. I couldn't even see where it ended. And of course, Makoto went first because <coughs> Kyoko wasn't going to let him look up at her skirt. You know, the camera angle is doing, the camera's doing that for us, apparently. We climbed in the darkness. I had no idea how, how I had no idea how we were so far down. Hey. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Ah, oh, that is the part. I was supposed to be longing to see where it ended. Climbed in the darkness. The passage was so dark I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I know they were so far down. Yeah, I'll be careful. Yeah, I'll be careful. <laughs> now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Hmm. Maybe talking help. Maybe talking help keep my mind off of it. Um. So, Kyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. You said that you're the ultimate detective, right? So, how long have you, have you been doing detective work? How long? So... Ever since I can remember. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being detective was considered a sacred duty. My family always seen... My family's always seen it that way. Then, is your family famous? Wrong. Hmm. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition is right, so... Right. Because we take pride in it. Pride? What is this pride? Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we are, can uncover the, the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things, and to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. This is why we made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious ex a conscious effort? It's true. It's kind of old fashioned and I can't say it's entirely rational. But it's our family creed and we do what we must to protect it. Because like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride. So that explains. Before I came here, when I was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. However... And yet... 
I gave up some of that pride. Huh? I... In order to ho enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. But the reason you gave up on that, gave up that pride? The reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak? It was because you had, because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. Hmm. What? Reconnect? I had absolutely, no, I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But you'd be reuniting after all those years, right? You'd be running out of those all those years, right? You had someone to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. However, there is something I want to say to him, though. What? I... No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. W what is it? So... I want to sever all ties with him. Sever? The last time I saw him, I was still very young. So I don't remember my him. Uh, so I don't remember myself, but but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family. He was talented. He had a, a promising future. However, but he had no interest in detective work. So he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died. And he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather and they had a huge argument. And as young as I, as I was, he left me behind. I'm sure there's a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true... And I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work that I do. Because that's how my grandfather raised me. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I had gone with him, I never would have the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression. So I couldn't tell. I couldn't, I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. All I could do, all I could tell was that compared to her usual, usual self, she was more talkative and more emotional. I... I don't blame him, you know. He has his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not true. However... But there is one thing. One thing I, I can never forgive. Really? So... The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. However... But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw the little girl, me as a little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me even to this day. I... His shadow has been following me all my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. Correct. 
That's why I had to tell him, find him and tell him we're no longer family in order to settle the past. In order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt that he forgot about me years ago. But your family cut him out like that. Wrong. Our only connection is through blood. Nothing more. Are we connected by heart and soul? No. Hey. Is blood really enough to call someone family? Only connected by blood, not by heart and soul. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that. I didn't even know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence, except for our foot, our footsteps on the metal. And after I didn't know how, how long, we finally reached the top. Looks like this is it. Indeed. On the other side of the do this door, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We're back. That's right. Remember that hat's on the ground near the trash room? I'm fairly certain this is where we'll come out. I left it earlier, so, so it should open without much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. I reach my right hand up and, and push against the hatch. The hat's open with ease, and so... It's like we're back! <sighs> But I can't believe how long that ladder was. I'm exhausted. Well, think about it. We went down the elevator to the to the trial room, and then we f the shoot we fell from the chute even further down into the dumpster room. So that's like a long ass ladder. I can't say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back. Now we're back in Hope's Peak Academy. Kyoko, thank you. I would never have gotten out of there without you. I think necessary. I was just returning the favor. This is how we got out of the garbage pit. I never would, would have imagined that, that this... I would never would, would have imagined that's where this led. I'm trying to dump, dump in other words. Honestly, I don't think I've... I don't think I ever see to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen anyone throw anything away down here. So now that we now what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die of course, but, but, the, but the master find but the mastermind finds out. I don't worry about you too. You helped me so they might listen. You're worried? Yeah, of course. So then, then let's just get a con then let's just get a concrete answer, huh? In other words, let's ask Monokuma. There's a problem with you escaping. Wait, w wait, what? That that? However, if we try to hide, it's only a matter of time till we're found out. It's not like we can run away. As he said that. He pointed at the nearby surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry. What you think is going to happen isn't. Because... Because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. The mastermind is, is ensnared? You said something like that before. What does it mean? So... The mastermind stood exposed during the investigation and Tim McGraw's death. There was a moment when the mastermind let their guard down. There was? Right. If we can talk to the Monokuma, we can confirm it. 
It'll be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. This is help with our ne negotiations. Yeah. It's a little, no, super uneasy about this. But we, we don't really have a choice, do we? Indeed. Well, I think it should be in the gym. Shall we go? Let's get going. Shall we go? It's the gym. I think it should be there. Here we go. Well now, well now, well now, well now. Hey, 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 hey! Yucko! Woo! Yucko, I don't mind so much! I don't believe it! Look, I was supposed to be dead! What's he doing here? This is exactly how I thought he would react. You're supposed to be punished! The key will help you! What? So what if I did? What, 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 were you, what are you gonna do about it? Shoot! Pick up the party is exposed during the class trial. They alone will be executed! It's fortunate, but that's the rule! Making me angry! So I gotta punch you again! This time I won't leave anything a chance! Uh, Kyoko! Right. Do whatever, you have to, do whatever you feel like you have to. Gee, thanks. What? However, but before you do, let me say one thing. No. Yeah. If you execute, if you execute that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Huh? I lose. Hey! You didn't find yourself. What do you mean by that? Because. Well, you set the class class trial by yourself, right? I was getting your way, so you want to execute. You want an excuse to kill me. In other words, <laughs> I was supposed to be chosen at the black end and then executed, right? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! What are you talking about? However, when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. <laughs> Because you never imagined that in that position, one person would protect the neuro like that. Right. In response to that unexpected development, Indeed. <coughs> reacted by putting Makoto as the black in and trying to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation. No, more than that. You must, re you must, have, reali you must have realized that Makoto refuses to be a manipulative manipulated to threat to you as well. Yep. However. But then there's another but then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. And an entity that, that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious exclusive machinery. Alter ego. Hmm. Mm. You, you never ima you never imagined a possibility of a being like that, of a being that could come to your aid even after you killed it. Am I wrong? Now, here's the absolute, here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Mukuro. You did. Listen to me. So execute Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. The blacken is exposed. They alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? Mm. And that means I lose. You talk a big game. You're saying the blacken is me and not Makoto. Well, you can prove this, right? Well, you know, I can't. Don't just say it like that. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? A family routine? Make such bold claims without a shred of evidence. That doesn't matter. I don't have any right now. With a little more, more time, I guarantee I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there's only 
There's only ever one absolute truth. And now you're trying to, and now you're trying to like a famous, and now you're trying to talk like some famous detective type. Because. If Makoto really wants to kill her, he never would have come to you willingly like this. He would have feared for his life, feared for no execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have, he would have been gripped by the despair you love to inspire. However, but here we are confronting you with nothing but hope, but hope in our hearts. What the heck? And that, and that's what's going to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence. Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Huh? Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because what we said is exactly right. They, they would assume that you killed him because what we said was... What we said is exactly right. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. Hey. Of course you can say we're just making all this up. You're welcome to prove this wrong. Now you have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. You want to earn our despair, fair and square. That's what we have to do. So I suggest you take my advice. Hmm? So, what is this advice of yours? It's true. To do Mukuro's trial over again. On this time, you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. One final battle between hope and despair. Hey. Well, that would make it for a proper climax, don't, wouldn't you say? A fair trial. One last showdown, in other words. This would be our chance to expose the true identity of Mukuro's killer, one of, of the mastermind themselves. For what reason would the ma mastermind have to accept that challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Interest, interesting. Barrett. Very, very interesting indeed. Barry. What's wrong? I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little. So time for bear jokes. Now, what you're suggesting might be po possible. It would certainly make for a one honey of a climax. In other words, does that mean you accept? You guys. We do anything your, your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it cause you unbearable despair, right? I'm prepared, I'm prepared to agree to your terms. <laughs> Will you help one? Will you help one out? Or my dis, despair claim victory? Boo! More bear jokes. I can barely contain myself. Let's have one final grizzly showdown. He agreed. It's all shot at this. But this is a long way to climax, right? Just guessing the killer is a barely, it's barely a fitting in. So the final face off, you get to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries? <laughs> That's right. Every last mystery that's, pa that's pawing around the school, I you do can it. I barely contain myself. So that'll be enough to qualify as a victory for you. It's true. That's what we've been trying to do, do all along. <laughs> well, okay, good. Then let's spare it all. If you call your way to, if you call your way to the truth of, Mac of Mukuro's death and solve the mysteries of school, you guys, then you win a brand new car. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't do it. You can't do all that. Wall of, ex of his execution, right? <laughs> I can barely, I can barely contain my excitement. <laughs> when you want the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? <laughs> We're excited as you are, I'm sure. Listen to me. 
can we uncover every last truth? How will ultimate despair revel in their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this is, uh, uh, this is all turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? One student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? I am that for sure. So what? Hey. I just wanted to confirm that is what you said, right? And, that, and that's a true statement. <laughs> <laughs> you want the bear? You're gonna be suspicious. I've said it before, but bear is repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations. And a trial for Mukuro is no exception to that. Huh? Mukuro's trial is no exception. Then it's part of the regulations? Which would have to mean that whoever killed Mukuro... <laughs> Poo! It's a very apologetic approach, I know, but okay, enough punch. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take out single stuff and hopes to pick it since the killing began are those 16 students. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Hmm? Hmm? Why, do go, why do you go quiet all of a sudden? Talking. I have nothing more left to say to you. So get lost, won't you? Why are you so mad? He seems, he seems emotionally unstable. Hmm. Oh, I can't hurt my finger. <laughs> hey. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Okay, I'm going. I just. You really gonna let me go? Yeah. No, I can't anymore. <laughs> Y'all gonna get your punch later anyways. I need to get started. I need to, I need to start getting re it ready. A super duper extra special punishment. Overflowing with despair. <laughs> Come on, Makoto. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I can't see that. Makuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. Just like that, we were out of the gym. Hmm. I can hardly believe it, but somehow ended up not getting executed. I saw my life, and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than I expected. Hmm. So again, I was in, I was in Kyoko's debt. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I've, I have right now is because of you. However, Don't thank me yet. The real battle is just ahead of us. Yeah, true. <sighs> but I'm so glad it worked out. I'm not sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't have anything to, to get anything from a final showdown, do they? So... They had no choice to, but to accept. Huh? Because it's all because it's all because of that one moment that the mastermind let their guard down, like I said. <coughs> so when, so when it was, so when was it the mastermind let their guard let their guard down? So I was there, there to say it myself. But do you remember what the mastermind said? They said that they hijacked the airwaves to broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Yeah, they definitely said that. Listen. What do you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Oh, pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over this airwave seems so unbelievable. Don't you, don't you go punning on me too, Makoto. Sorry, I, I had to do it. I do at least one. I do a joke at least once in this game. 
You don't exactly hit, read about something that, that happens very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is probably extremely hard, difficult to pull off. However, and yet, somehow the mastermind is able to do it. In other words, but think of it another way. There must have been some reason they, they had to do something that difficult. A reason? So... They had to show the, wor the world something no matter the cost. Us killing each other. They wanted to show the world? It would seem... The mastermind has been very adamant by not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all the rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, those that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed any anybody. In other words. So, so the mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show that, that off to the world. But why? The proof of point most likely. Proof of point? Hey. The outside world has a name for the students of hope speak, right? A certain concept. We're talking about hope, right? That's right. And for and for and for those and for those who represent hope to kill each other, seeking seeking to despair. The mastermind wants the, the whole world to see that and try to prove that despair is better than hope. That's their goal is the ultimate despair. What? They, they want to prove that despair is better than hope. But that's ridiculous. It's true. You're right. It's, it is ridiculous. Completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves ultimate despair would devise. That group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. But but is that the, uh, really the only reason for making the rest of us suffer? Dakota. I know how angry it makes it must, it must make you, and yet that same motivation is what led Mastermind to revealing their weakness. What? In other words, because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. The mastermind has to, has to be more particular than is reasonable about their own regulation. The mastermind simply ignores the r rules. This would, this, would, this would have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At the very least. At, the, at least that's how those who are watching this would have seen it. That's why the mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves? Indeed. That is precisely the reason. No matter no matter how much they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of the, 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 the regulations. Chunko broke the rules, so she was punished. But in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. Right. So instead, they tried to use the class trial following all their proper rules to get me killed. They began, clash, they began a trial that, that they didn't have the right answer, so they made me be up the killer. But even that, but even that doesn't work. It's true. Yes, thanks to you. And due to that failure, the mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who, who also was not the killer. And when that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the mastermind had to accept your suggestion? Indeed. The proof that the world is... The proof to the world that despair is better than hope. They have to defeat us in perfect form. In other words... It would only do the mastermind harm to have it shown that they violated their own regulations. But all that was a hunch, right? And you're still able to get the mastermind to accept your challenge? However... Well, it's only because well, it's only thanks to you that we got the chance because you believed in me. Another path opened up. I still, still, I can't believe how much of the mastermind's thoughts and plans you were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue. Wrong. In the 
the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my it was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. <sighs> but, but it looks like I got it right. This time, at least, I won the bet. She looked so shy. I took it as a small sign of relief. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I could I totally couldn't tell you you were nervous at all. You, you seem confident, totally confident, from the moment we decided to talk, go talk to him. Well, pursuing a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? Well, plus if I showed my une un un uneasiness, that would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. However... Any anyway, we can't relax just yet. All we've done is another, earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Correct. Everything we've gone through has been for, been for nothing. You're right. If we, if we can't defeat the mastermind, it'll cost us our lives. There's no option but except to win. Hey. But before we begin the, the final battle, we have to tell the yeah, others what's going on. True. But now we have, we know who our real enemy is. We have to we have to do it. all we do now is work together with everyone. To destroy the mastermind. Work together with everyone. However, is that really possible? Huh? Anyway. Anyway, right now we have to find the others. Shall we go? Probably in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? And suddenly we were greeted with Blah, 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 blah. You again? He broken? I suppose his emotional instability reaches its limit. Agin do set for some is the guy sixty one. Jeez, what the heck? However, I wonder what that was all about. I can help but a little side relief. Is that... Makoto? Y you guys! It is! There's no two ways about it! That's Makoto! Huh? You s survived Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? I'm just asking to make sure, but... You're not a ghost, right? I am a ghost, Hakakure! I'm gonna haunt you! No, no, no! Everyone was there. All my friends who had struggled together and survived. That's all my other faces. I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. What? Wait. Wait. What's... Wait. What's that smell? What the heck? Yeah, I'm on that. Seriously, he stinks. Ah. Let me go, though. He smells like a wet dog. <laughs> Get away! Shoo, shoo! Yep. In a flash, my tears dried up. <laughs> ah, you stink! Are you rotten? I'm telling you. Rotten, phys physically, mentally, every way you, you can be rotten. Sorry, sorry, I was running around the garbage for a while. <laughs> that smell is so smelly. <gasps> How oh, super smelly! You smell worse than me! Way worse than me! <laughs> Hi, Lynn! She seems happy for some reason. So, what have you guys been doing while I was gone? Hmm. Well, you figured that since the trial was over, 
we'd have access to a new place again. And... Aww. It was nice. All the rooms that were locked before were still locked. So there were any new areas? Then we're, we're going to go find new clues. Yo! Makotamon, what's it like? What was it like hanging out in the spirit world? I didn't go to the spirit world yet, idiot. You know? <coughs> Did you get to talk to her? Who? Miss hmm. Cleo. <coughs> no, I didn't talk to her. I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world. I mean, who the heck is Miss Cleo? <laughs> I still can't believe you survived, peasant boy. Yeah, me either. Do you realize why it was used, used deep execution? It was Alter Ego. He saved my life. That's right. Not, not too many people have can say that they, they've had their life saved by a computer program. Hmm. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. Huh. I said make it Alter Ego my personal assistant. Makoto. There's no time. There's no time to indulge in an accident, happy ending, reunion. You need to explain to everyone what happened with Akuma. Yes. Explain. Explain what? Hmm. Mr. <coughs> Cave, you're here, Mom? Well, the master mind cuts you. It's true. That's what's related to what I have to tell you all. I need to tell you about the last class trial. Last class trial? In other words. We're going to redo Mukuro's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? How about that? What the point? What the point of doing, redoing it, Mon? Kuro killed her, right? No, I didn't do it. Like I kept, like, like I keep telling you. Wrong. Mukuro isn't the ki Mukuro isn't the killer. And of course, it's not me or any of you. Huh? Then who is it? I see. What she said, what she's saying is, it was all the work of the mastermind. Huh? What? You're saying the mastermind killed Mukuro? That's right. It was all an elaborate trap to convert, to, to treat by the mastermind. Mikoto followed the trap in time and did what he had to stop it. However, but his assistant meant that he would be the one to die. What? What did you say? You spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? Make it sound like it was easy. I just, you know. However. But executing, but executing Makoto, who was wasn't the black, and is a clear violation of the school re regulations. The rules state that only the black end is to be executed. The mastermind broke their own rules. <laughs> This is why I went to get with them to have the trial one more time. Huh? And that's the man agreed? Does that mean they really b did break the rules? Hmm. They had no choice but to agree. You you used the TV broadcast to gain leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said the la in the last trial. You said that now it's the mastermind that was ensnared. That's what you're referring to. Don't be mean! Hey, Mon, I'm totally that dark here! <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you can, you can ask Kirigiri to explain it to you later. <laughs> so, knowing all this, what do we do now? About that. It's about who killed the. It's about who killed. It's about who killed Mikro, right? So our, so our job is to expose the mastermind? Hmm. But there's more to it than that, correct? Um, yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Huh? Every last- every last mystery? What? We, we've been look, but, but we've been looking around all, all this time! We still don't know anything or anything, right? Anyway... You probably guessed this already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Everyone, Mon? I hate you. Hey, who's 
you could read those terms. Let's talk to the rest of us. I finally, I finally think the way they are. I finally living here forever, Master. I, I mean, while well, I'm to get out of here, it's, it's, it's humanly possible. Anyway. At this point, the only right for us to survive is to unravel the truth. <laughs> Interesting. In other, in other words, one, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting way to develop, interesting development, I'd say. But, but figuring out who the mastermind is and how they could look around and all that, all school mysteries. <sighs> the pretty fall, fall tr freaking order, Mon. But maybe this time the trial is different. We know who the, our enemy is now. So we're, we're together and so as hard as we can. I'm sure we'll solve all the mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. Huh? I. I can't agree with the idea of working together of everyone. You can't agree, why not? I mean, working together just with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve them, all the mysteries. Indeed. Hmm. That's what I thought too at first. Until Monokuma. Until Monokuma gave us that little hint of his. Hint. <laughs> Ooh, ready to pull our right now! Okay, 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 that's what the punt. Here's a, anyways, here's a hit! I'm sure I told you this already, but... This is a game of getting 16 student participants and uh, all them high school students. And only people take a single step in the whole Since the killing game began! Are those 16 students? I see. Monokuma's... Hmm. Monokuma said that, did he? Hmm. Then Kyoko's... Then, Kyo then Kirigiri's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? But why? So, in other words, if the master, hmm, if the mastermind really is the one who killed Mukuro, as Kyoko, as Kirigiri says, then the mastermind would have would have to set foot in the school, right? Monokuma, Monokuma could probably murder Mukuro, but there's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. In other words... But according to, but according to Monokuma, the only, people who, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. <laughs> to the master, to the master my news! There were 15 of us in the main hall in the very beginning. And Mikuro, you got 16. Huh? So the Mastermind would have to be one of them? That's right. And those 16 people, and those 16 people who start, started out with, the only ones still alive are the 16 of the people staying here. Need I continue, or do you get it now? You say the Mastermind one of us? No way! You can't be serious! Wait, we can't say that's true for, for sure that's true yet. I'm not gonna mind that just that to confuse us. Mm -hmm. It's certainly a possibility, but only one among many. The Mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. And that is one possibility. We can't ignore. Yeah, I mean, the ultimate right, the ultimate despair. So he must be a high school high schooler. You can you can't say it's not possible. But if one of us was mastermind, they they they'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did did you ever see anyone acting suspicious anytime Monokuma was active? Maybe they stuck off and told him in, in secret. But... I don't care how sticky you are. We would have noticed someone sticking up off like that many times. Right, right. Then, may, then maybe Monkey was on autopilot, Mon. Maybe they loaded up on the dialogue and acted, acted beforehand. In that case, there's no way he could have 
he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. Well, well, it would, would it be entirely uh, impossible if they directed the flow of conversation? Well, maybe, but still. of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. Hmm. The time for talk is done. Now that now we need to begin our investigation. But I was planning to work on one from the very beginning anyways. In the name of my family. At this point I can rely only on the the gummy blood flowing through my veins. Hmm. <coughs> I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Well then, are they making this final statement? Yuck, yell at Dying Hall. <laughs> Master! He didn't take me with him! Hey! Do you blame him on? <laughs> well, Master, the rest of you are like. Coffee without cream. Without the, cr without the cream or coffee. <laughs> You're totally useless! <sighs> so bye! Well, that took us to out of the Dying Hall. <sighs> and now she's gone, Mon! And you're gonna work. Your, and you're gonna work by yourself, right, Kyo? Right, Kerry Gary? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. What's this lady, Makoto, Hina, and me? Hmm. You know? I guess I go by myself too. Just a second. Wait, wait. How come? How about that? Just wait and see. I'm. If I see Mon, I'm totally gonna use my awesome power to figure out who the mastermind's identity. <laughs> Laughing loudly here in the dining hall. Aww. Everyone's really off by themselves. But you, Hina. Mm. Uh, I guess I'll do the same. But. I mean, it's like, that I don't trust everyone, you know? Because, I mean. But, but up till now, I really am not all that useful. I just spend on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been here, I would have died. Huh? Makoto! <laughs> That's what I asked you to say. But... but still, I know I've been totally useless. Okay. So I figured at least at the end, maybe I can tie something to help us get out of here. So I'm gonna do it all on my own. <laughs> okay, see you later. He was surprisingly high spirits as he dashed out of the dining hall. And once again, it's just us two. Alone again. Indeed. So, you, so, so you're gonna go off and do your own uh, own too, right, Kyoko? However, well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're doing our searches separately doesn't mean we can't still work together. So that goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigation doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I should I should just see us split up and cover more ground, and then. We can get back together and share what we found. Yeah, that's right. So then. Well, I better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Correct. My family said all the doors in the school have been unlocked, right? So, so we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. We can investigate all the places we couldn't before. Makoto. No matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth by any means necessary. With that, Kyoko is gone. Leaving only me. I don't have time to waste either. I have to begin my search. I still can't believe the mastermind might be one of us. So that's what, that's what I have to prove. And with that... 
I think we'll call it an end. I've been talking for about an hour now. So, oh, will we treat what the mastermind is? Oh, will we escape the school finally? And will we defeat the, defeat, defeat the true owner of Monokuma? Find out next time as the story continues. Hey. Hey. I, I'd appreciate it if you give this video a like and subscribe. Like and a comment, please. And subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you can afford it, Amazon list list and I have Amazon Whistlist and Patreon to help you make better videos. Until we meet again, never stop learning and throw the randomness. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>